you've got to love the crazy hairdo, the crazy outfit, and the angled camera. <laughs> I just can't deal with that this morning. So, so I'm gonna let it go. Um, here's a, a good challenge. Um, people always ask me the temperature. Um, and I am terrible, I am terrible at guessing the temperature. I am the queen of underdressing because this apartment is actually really hot and then I go outside and I'm like, whoa! But I just, and I know this, <laughs> I still don't understand, I just don't understand. Um, I also when I read, if I look at, if I actually look at the weather app and I'm like, oh, it's, you know, 40. I'm like, okay, so it's not that cold. I don't know, I just can't, it, it's, I'm really bad at that. Which brings me to the challenge today. So, guessing the temperature of the room. Go look at all the hairspray in my hair from my show last night. It's like, poof. <laughs> um, really bad at this. However, I do have a thermometer from my little monkey that we used to use to put in, um, and I'll test this another time as well, which is the temperature of water. Because when I used to, to run him baths, you know, you have to make sure it's okay for him. And I really like hot showers, so I will do that as a separate challenge. Um, but today, guessing the temperature of the room, um, which is going to be interesting. Okay, so I have a little thing. I'm not looking at it, but it's like this thing, right? Um, what I, it's English, so what I can't remember if, is if it's in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Right, so, um, I think it's in Celsius because it's, uh, coffee, because it's European. But what I can't remember is if it lists both. And I work in Fahrenheit, so that is going to be a problem. Um, but let's do it this way, shall we? Shall I will guess the Fahrenheit, and then before I look at it, I will check on my trusty internet source phone and see if it can translate it for me so I can, so I can have both just in case, because once I look, we're doomed, right? All right, so, this room feels like, um, well, look, I'm in a shorts and, and t-shirt, like a, an all-in-one outfit, so, so it's a shorts and arms are out and chest is out and I don't feel cold, I feel quite warm, but I know this is my bedroom and it's a lot colder than the other rooms. And I'm trying to figure this out in like some scientific way. I think it's about 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so before I check this, I'm going to look up. Yes, you all, you math geniuses out there who know this translation is probably already going do 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 do. All right, 64. I don't know why it's the Jeopardy song. 64 Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit to Celsius. Thank you, internet browser. All right, that's 17. Can you see that? 17.77. So let's say 17. Or 17.7. Let's say 17.7. Okay. Let's check. Twenty-six point eight. It's twenty-six point eight. Look at that. What's that in Fahrenheit? It's definitely not seventeen point seven. Twenty-six point eight. Holy moly, it's 80 degrees in here. No wonder it's so warm and I die when I go outside. Holy finoli. So I was way off. I was at 64 and it's 80. It is hot in here. Take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot. I'm going to take my clothes off. All right. Mm -hmm. I, um, um, no comment to that. No comment. But failure. <laughs> 